Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-April, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Alright, we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. You could be connecting to a Taurus. I feel like right now there is definitely a interesting situation here where I feel like mid-April could be very transformational for you in terms of like how you view the rest of your um, your future. I feel like you're walking away from old patterns, old ways of thinking. Also, this is going to sound a little out there, but some of you are breaking generational curses by choosing to not go along with what is expected of you. I feel like you're choosing to create your own path, you're choosing to do your own thing, and for a lot of you, you could even be confronting the very person that you are, I guess, rewriting the rules from this during this time. Kind of like if, you know, if it's a parent, if it's another person, like a family member, a friend, I mean, I don't know, I just feel like you're going to face someone and say, hey, I'm doing it this way. And you're not going to care about their reaction because you're doing it for yourself. You're saying it out loud. You're confronting the person for yourself. This is all about you. We have the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Some of you are tired of keeping this stuff in. You're tired of, you know, keeping this secret to yourself. It's like you're so proud of how far you've come that you're saying, I'm going to let it out. I'm going to scream it. I'm going to shout it. I want everyone to know that I'm doing my own thing. And I feel like your inner child is both proud of you and also kind of like, you know, totally... Um, you know, amazed at just how far you've come into your journey because a lot of you have dealt with very powerful um, opinions and situations in the past where, you know, maybe, you know, you thought that it would take a lot longer for you to get to this point. But now that it's happening, you're just, you know, completely um, at peace. So right behind the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck is the Devil and then the Fool and then the World. So there's definitely something major happening here. But again, it's because you're choosing to rewrite. You're rewriting your rules and therefore writing your own story. So I feel like your life is changing day by day. I feel like with the Fool, you're taking leaps of faith. You're taking chances. And specifically with that Devil card, it's like you're undoing and unlearning old ways and old habits because your beliefs are very different than the ones that were given to you. So I feel like now moving forward, the script is completely different. All right, let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. The opportunities are endless as well because when you create your own story when you create your own path it's like you now have the decision right you can say the possibilities are endless there's nothing i can't do right it's like there's there's something different about when we're following other people's rules it's like the parameters they set that's as far as we can go so now you're really understanding i can create whatever life i want right now so we have the hierophant again finally came out which is confirmation that you're creating your own beliefs your own traditions and your own way of life Ten of Cups, which is about the fact that you're going to be so satisfied and so happy if you keep moving forward. And then Three of Pentacles, you are creating your own structure. Also, for some of you, this could be about the career that you've chosen. Maybe some of you have chosen to go towards a career that you really love, but maybe one that is taboo or not expected from, you know, your family or whatever. It's like maybe you're doing something that they wouldn't understand, but the best part about it is that you don't care, right? Like... You're doing what makes you happy. And if this is something that calls you, if this is something that is going to give you both financial and personal satisfaction, then by all means, I feel like right now you're really believing in your path and you're starting to take the steps moving forward to make it possible and to make it a reality. All right, let's clarify the Six of Cups. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Your inner child is beaming with joy because you've done something here. You've changed the way that you see yourself. You're not seeing yourself from another person's lenses. You're seeing yourself from yours. We have justice, which is you, Libra. High Priestess, Pisces, and Three of Cups. I feel like your intuition has been guiding you towards this decision for a very, very long time. But because of other people and just other things going on around you, maybe it's been difficult to listen to that inner voice. But now, finally, karmic justice has arrived, and that is you. You are the karmic justice in your own life because you're choosing 
to rewrite the story. So your judgment about everything is changing. And I feel like mid-April could be when you take that first action to prove to yourself and your inner child and your inner voice that you're ready to do what needs to be done here. So, wow. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Yeah. You're moving away from disappointment. You're moving away from the idea that you have to please others before yourself. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Judgment finally came through. The fact that it finally came out also is confirmation that you're not just saying you're going to do something, you're actually taking the steps to do so. With that Knight of Cups, you're no longer wanting to, you know, just please others and then hope that that's enough. You're doing it the other way around. You're pleasing yourself first and then you know, people, everyone else will come second. So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, this is you saying, I'm going to take back that energy. I'm going to use it and I'm going to multiply it and put it to what I want. So you're reinvesting your effort into the things that really matter to you. I feel like with the Five of Cups, there was a lot of sadness that you had to deal with and overcome because you were not putting yourself first. But now that you know the difference I feel like your judgment is just completely changing the way you see everything and it's only going to motivate you to work harder to fulfill your dreams. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.